Hello everyone! Today I would like to show you a baby blanket that I knitted. I knitted it using the yarn Alize Puffy. It is a special yarn for knitting things for babies. In 100 grams of this yarn, there are 9.5 meters. The yarn is very soft and airy. The skein of this yarn looks like this. This is how the knitted blanket looks like. To knit this blanket, I used exactly 5 skeins. The blanket measurements are 80 cm by 80 cm. For the width of the blanket, I took precisely 50 loops. I will show you the knitting technique using the pink yarn. Pink color is the number 31. Blue color is the number 287. Well, separate a total of 50 loops. I will do the sample, so I will work in a total of 10 loops. The yarn looks like this. There are the pre-made loops here. For knitting a blanket, you do not need the needles or the crochet. We will do it by hands. Now let's tear it off or cut it off. I repeat one more time that I make a sample so I take 10 loops 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 Well, now we cross the 10th and the 9th loops we put the 10th loop on the top on the 9th, like this. Then we take the next loop of the working thread and pass it through these two loops here, like this. Then we take the next two loops. In this row we knit in one way. The next two loops we put one loop on another and the loop of the working thread, here it is, the next loop. First we pull through the bottom loop and the next loop of the working thread we pull through the top loop. Ensure that you do not skip the loops. Take one loop after another. We take next two loops, we cross them and we pull one loop from the working thread through two loops. We take the next two loops and we pass two loops through like this. Ensure that you do not skip the loops and the last two loops. I remind that this is a sample, so I have only 10 loops. You should take as many loops as you need for your project. So, the first row is completed. After that, we do not turn over our project. 
it is in the same position the second row we are going now to make a second row and the next at even rows we do not need the first and the last loops look what we do next we do not touch this loop we leave it now we are meeting in another direction the next two loops we cross them but this time in another direction we go on pulling the loops from the working thread one after another without missing loops then we leave it out we take the next two loops and also cross them in the same direction this row that we started and also we pull these two loops and the next loops we cross like this and we pull one the next then look we have only one loop left from the previous row we cross it with this loop this time in another direction this row is already the third row so one row we cross the loops from the right to the left second row from the left to the right the next row we cross the loops like that and we pull one loop of the working thread second loop they are pulled through and that's all after that we do the same up to the end of the row we go on pulling the loops one after another without missing the loops we are knitting the third row and at the end we have two loops we pull that's all the third row is completed this is the the pattern we receive this is how our project looks like so far we get the cross stitch the fourth row now i remind that in the even rows we do not need the first and the last loops that means that we do not touch this loop we cross the next two loops and we take a loop of the working thread and pull it through the one loop through the second loop put a knot in the yarn so you could see where the loops are we grab next two loops from the working thread and we pull through the loop one we pull through the loop two ensure the loops are not crossed one two and the next two loops one two we have one loop left we cross it and we begin knitting the fifth row one two 
and we go in opposite direction. This is the sample we get. It is very pleasant and easy to work with this yarn. The yarn is so soft, fluffy and cozy, I cannot even express it in words. What to do when the yarn finished? Now I will show you. I take the end of the another skein of yarn. For example, our yarn finished. We take the tail from the next ball. We tear off the tip and we just tie the thread's end of the skein to another skein. But the loops should have the same distance between them as the other loops in the skein. Just tie and tighten. I won't tight it. I won't tie it tight now. When we need the necessary length, we need to close the loops. We leave this tail and close the loops from this side. We just pull the loops through one through another like this and so on. Like this. We cut off the rest we don't need and we pull the tip through the loop and tighten. This is like the border looks like. I want to show you one more time. We get such a beautiful pattern. Despite the little holes, the blanket is very warm and very thick. Not thin at all. So try, create, good luck to all of you, see you soon.